What's up guys, I'm Rasim from RossmerTech.com and this is another tutorial in assembly programming. Now in this class I'm going to talk about jumps based on unsigned comparison. So let's get started. So what are jumps based on unsigned comparison? So here are the jumps based on unsigned comparison instructions here. The first one is JA, jump if above, if left operand is greater than right operating then the jump happens so the next one is j n b e jump if not below or equal it's basically the same as j a the next one is j a e jump if not or equal so basically if the left operating is greater than or equal to the right then the jump happens so j n b jump if not below is the same as j a e the next one is JB, jump if below. So if the left operand is less than the right operand, then the jump happens. So the next one is JNAE, jump if not above or equal, same as JB basically. The, the next one is JBE, jump if below or equal. So basically if the left operand is less than or equal to the right, then the jump happens. Now the final one is JNA, jump if not above. It's basically the same as JBE. So all right, so I'm going to open up MU8086 here so we can test some of these out. So let's try the first one, JA, jump if not above. So the first thing we're going to need to do, I'm going to minimize this. The first thing we're going to need to do is move around some values, right? Let's move into, let's say, AX, uh, let's say 10, right? And let's move into BX, let's say 11, right? So let's... Uh, Let's open this up. So the first one is jump if above. So if left operand is bigger than the right operand, the jump happens. So we're going to make the left bigger than the right. So let's compare and let's make the, the AX the left one. I'm sorry, the BX the left one because it's greater. And let's compare it with AX, right? We know the compare operator it doesn't uh, change the values. All it does is compare, it subtracts the two, right? And it compares. So now we're going to use the jump, right? So let's add the jump now. J A is our instruction jump if above, right? If the left operand is greater than the right. So let's create a label. I'll call mine L1, right? So let's make our label down here. L1, and we have to add a colon. Every time we create a label, we have to add a colon at the end. If we're uh, using the label, if we're invoking the label, we don't have to add that colon only when we're creating the label. Now let's uh, add some instructions in between this here. Let's move around some values. Let's move into CX, let's say five, right? And let's move some values. Let's first tighten this up a little bit. Let's move some values uh, under the label. So let's move into CX, let's say four, right? So let's start from the top. We moved into AX the value of 10, right? We moved into BX the value of 11. So we compared it to, we wanted uh, BX to be the left operand, right? Because the left operand eh, is greater. So BX is the left and AX is the right. So the, the this jump instruction JA jumps if the left operand is greater than the right. So in this case, the left operand is greater than the right. So it should jump to L1 here, and then it should move into uh, CX the value of four. And I should uh, bypass this instruction here. Let's test it out. I'm gonna hit emulate. Okay, here, let's see. Our first uh, line of code is highlighted, move into AX the value of a 10, right? So once I hit single step, AX should have a value of 10. As you can see, AX has a value of 10. This is a hexadecimal value of 10 here. Now, our second line of code is highlighted, move into BX the value of 11. I'm going to hit single step and now BX has a value of 11. Now our third instruction here is highlighted compare uh, BX with AX, right? BX is our left operand here. So it compares the two, right? And uh, once I hit single step, now our th our next uh, instruction is highlighted JA, jump if above, right? It uses the compare instruction, right? And it, it'll test whether or not the our left operand is greater than our right. If if the, if that's so, then the jump happens. So let's hit single step. And as you can see, the jump happened and it completely bypassed this uh, instruction here and, and jumped right under this label. So now uh, this instruction here is highlighted, move into CX the value of four, right? So once I hit single step, CX should have a value of four. As you can see right here, CX has a value of four. So let's, uh, let's move around the values, right? Let's make the left operand smaller than uh, the right. So let's make this one 11. We have to close this first. Let's change uh, this AX to 11. 
and bx to 10, right? So now the right operand is greater than the left, so the jump will not happen. So let's hit emulate, right? Let's hit single step, single step, single step. Now we're highlighting our jump here, ja, and uh, the jump should not happen. So let's hit single step. Oops, let's hit single step. And the jump did not happen because the left operand was less than the right operand, and it went to the destruction right underneath. So once I hit single step, CX should have a value of 5 now. Let's try our next one. Let's close this here first. Let's open this up. Our next one is JNBE, jump if not above or equal. It's basically the same as JA, so let's just test that out. So JNBE, right? Let's replace this with JNBE, right? And let's make... Uh, the left value greater than the right. So I'm going to make this one a 10 again, and I'm going to make this one 11, right? Because our AX is, is our right operand and our BX is our left, and we want this jump to happen. So basically, N, J, N, B, E is the same as J, A, jump if above. So basically, this is jump if not below. It's pretty much the same. So let's hit emulate. Our first line of code is highlighted, move into AX the value of 10. Once I hit single step, AX has a value of 10. Our second line of code is highlighted, move into BX the value of 11. Again, once I hit single step, now BX has a value of 11. Our third instruction here is highlighted, the compare instruction, and we're comparing BX with AX, so let's hit single step. Now our jump instruction is highlighted, JNBE, jump if not above. So JNBE is jump if not below. So if our left operand is not below our right, then the jump happens. So our left operand is greater than our right, so the jump should happen. Let's hit single step. And the jump did happen. Completely bypass this instruction here and move straight to uh, the instruction under the label. So once I hit single step, it should move into CX the value of 4. So let's hit single step. Now CX has a value of 4. Let's switch these around again. Let's make this one 11. Okay, I got to close this again. All right, let's make this one 11. Let's make BX 10. So the jump won't happen. So I'm going to hit emulate. Let's hit single step. I'm going to skip to the jump instruction. Now, once I hit single step, the jump should not happen. So let's hit single step, and as you can see, the jump did not happen, and it moved to an instruction underneath the jump. So I hit single step, CX should have a value of 5. So single step, CX has a value of 5. Let's try another one. Let's close this here. Let's try JAE, jump if above or equal. So if the left operand is greater than or equal to the right, then the jump will happen. So let's test it out, JAE jump if above or equal. All right, let's first make them equal. I want to make the, them both 11, right? So uh, basically they'll jump if the left is greater than or equal to. So in this case it's equal to, so the jump should still happen. So let's hit emulate. I'm going to hit single step, right? AX has a value of 11. Now I'm going to hit single step. Now BX has a value of 11. Now the compare instruction is highlighted. I'm going to hit single step. Now it's highlighting JAE, jump if uh, greater than or equal to, right? So let's hit single step and jump happened because the left operand and the right operand were equal to each other. So let's close this and try something else. Let's make the left greater than, right? So let's make BX 12 and the jump should still happen. So let's hit emulate. Our first line of code is highlighted, move into AX11, right? So let's hit single step. Now AX has a value of 11. This is the hexadecimal value of 11 here. So now let's hit single step and BX should have a value of 12. Now our compare instruction is highlighted, so let's hit single step. Now it's highlighting our jump instruction, JAE. So basically uh, if our left operator is either, either greater than or equal to the right, then the jump happens. It's So the left is greater than the right, so the jump should happen. Let's hit single step, the jump happened. It completely bypassed this instruction here. Now it's highlighting movements to CX the value of four. So once I hit single step, CX should have a value of four and CX has a value of four now. Let's try another one. All right, so let's try J and B. It's basically the same as J, A, E. So let's try it. Let's replace this here. J, N, B, jump if not below, right? So it's basically, all right, so this is basically the same as the previous one, right? So if we leave the values the same, the jump should happen. So we jump if not below. So if the left is not below the right, the jump will happen. So let's hit emulate. Our first line of code is highlighted, move into AX the value of 11. Once we hit the single step, AX has the value of 11. Our second line of code is highlighted, move into BX the value of 12. Once I hit single step, BX should have a value of 12, and it does. Our third instruction here is highlighted, compare BX with AX, right? So now our jump here, jump if not below. So if the left operand is not below the right, the jump will happen. So in this case, it's true. The left operand is greater than the right, so the jump will happen. So let's hit single step. 
the jump happened to completely skip this instruction. Now uh, move into CX, the uh, value of four is highlighted. So once I hit single step, CX should have a value of four. So let's close this here. Let's move the values around. Let's make the jump not happen. Let's just make AX greater than BX. So make AX 13, right? So once, it, once I hit emulate, our first line of code here is highlighted. Move into AX the value of 13. Let's hit single step. AX has a value of 13. Move into BX the value of 12. Once I hit single step, BX here now has a value of 12. O is highlighted. So basically, uh, the left is below the right. So the jump will not happen. So let's hit single step. The jump did not happen. It's highlighting the instruction right underneath the jump. Let's hit single step. Now CX has a value of 5. So let's try another one. Let's try JB, jump if below. Basically, jump if left is below the right. So let's try it out. Let's replace this with just a B here. So JB. So the the left, if the left is less than the right, the jump happens. So in this case is true. BX is less than AX. So it is less than the right. So let's hit emulate. Let's hit single step. Move into uh, AX. The value of 13 is our first instruction. Let's hit single step. AX will have a value of 13. Now our second line of code is highlighted, move into BX the value of 12. Once I hit single step, now BX should have a value of 12, and it does. So our third instruction is highlighted, compare BX with AX, so I hit single step. Now it's highlighting our jump here, our jump instruction, JB jump if below. If the left operand is below the right, the jump will happen. In this case, it's true. So let's hit single step, and the jump happened. Now we're highlighting our uh, instruction under the jump and it's moving to CX the value of 4. So once I hit CX single step, CX should have a value of 4. And it does. CX now has a value of 4. Let, let's just switch around the value so it's not true. So let's make this one 12. Let's make this one 13, right? So let's hit emulate. Hit single step, hit single step, hit single step. Now our jump instruction here is highlighted. So once I hit single step, the jump will not happen. As you can see, the jump did not happen. Now, once I hit single step, we're going to move into CX the value of 5. As you can see now, CX has a value of 5, right? So it's basically jump if below. It wasn't below, it was above. Or actually, they were equal to each other. So the jump did not happen. So the jump only will take place if the left operand was below the right. Since they were equal, jump did not happen. Let's try another one. Let's try J-N-A-E, jump if not above or equal it's basically the same as jb if jump if below so um let's try it out j and a e j and a e is our instruction right so basically it's the same so let's make our left operand below the right right so bx is our left ax our right let's make bx 12 so our left operand is below the right so the jump should happen let's hit emulate our first line of code is highlighted here, move into X the value of 13. So once I hit single step, AX will have a value of 13. So our next one here, move into BX the value of 12. Once I hit single step, BX should have a value of 12, which it does. So now our jump uh, instruction is highlighted jump, if not above or equal. So the, the jump should happen. Let's hit single step and the jump happened, right? So the jump happened because the uh, left operand is uh, below the right. So the jump happened. So uh, now it's highlighting move into CX the value of 4. Once I hit single step, CX should have a value of 4. And as you can see, CX has a value of 4, right? Let's try something else now. Sorry, let's try JBE now, right? Jump if below or equal. So if the left operand is below or equal to the right, then the jump happens, right? So what was the instruction again? Okay, it was JB. Let's open up MU8086. Let's minimize this. Let's replace this with JBE. Jump if below or equal, right? So if the operand, if the left operand is below or equal to the right, then the jump happens. So let's make them equal. So since they're equal, the jump will happen, right? So let's hit emulate. Let's just skip to the jump instruction. Once I hit single step, the jump should happen, right? As you can see, the jump happened to completely bypass this instruction here because they were both either below or equal. In this case, they were equal. So let's make the left operand uh, below the right. So the BX is the left, so let's make this a 12, so it's below the right. So the jump will also happen. So let's hit emulate. Let's hit single step, single step. Let's just skip to the jump instruction here. So once, so once I hit single step, the jump should happen, right? So hit single step, the jump happened because the left is, was below the right, right? So let's hit single step again. Now CX has a value of four. Pretty cool, right? So let's try another one.
All right, the last one here, JNA. It's basically the same as JBE, jump if not below, all right? So let's tr try it out, JNA. All right, so if the left is not below the right, the jump will happen. So uh, let's make this a 13. So the jump will happen because the, the left operand is not below the right. So they're equal. So the jump should still happen. Let's hit emulate. Our first line of code is highlighted. Move into AX the value of 13. Let's hit single step. AX now has a value of 13. Now our second line of code is, is highlighted. Move into BX the value of 13. Let's hit single step. BX now has a value of 13. Our compare instruction is highlighted. Once I hit single step, it's going to compare BX with AX. Now our jump here, jump if not below basically. So they're equal to each other so the jump should still happen and the jump did happen. So now we're moving into CX the value of 4. Once I hit single step, CX here now has a value of 4. Alright so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you guys like this video please give me a like. If you want more videos like this please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RasmerTech.com and thanks for watching.